It's my pleasure to introduce to you once again our founder, Dr. Paul Leon Masters. I want to show what happens when people complete their courses, that it opens up a wide new vista for them. On the back, this is Sherry's bio. The title of the book, incidentally, is Healing Heartaches, which is an awfully good title. Sherry Showalter, PhD, where from? From here. A National Heart of Hospice recipient for psychosocial spiritual caregiving has long been an advocate for patients and families coping with loss, dying, and bereavement. She proudly served with other first responders at the Pentagon during the 9-11 and continues to work with those coping with sudden and traumatic losses. She is an author, speaker, and psychotherapist living in Florida, enjoying magnificent sunsets on the Gulf of Mexico. Sherry often says, I am continually amazed at the resiliency of the human spirit. Indeed, every day is a gift. For those that are family and friends that are attending, graduating gives that extra boost. So, and I'm sure that there are others here in this audience that have already written books. By being a graduate, it gives further acceptance by the public at large. And so, that is one of the byproducts here. I believe the proof is in the pudding. Talk is cheap, and talk really doesn't mean anything in the end anyway. Because the only thing that really matters is the still small voice of God that speaks to us each and every day. Everything else that we do on a conscious level in human form is really superfluous to the real conversation that should be taking place between the superconscious, that particular part of God's spirit that exists within each and every one of us and the conscious mind like an open vessel ready to receive it. For you and I have influence to illuminate the mind. We truly constitute a force that can impact all mankind. So let's make sure each time we speak, we don't just nudge and prod, but always, always strive to serve our oath, our pledge, our God. Many the paths winding the way to one call. Walk with me, brother. There are no strangers after his The whole of everything that I have done, I have not done. It has been done through me. I have not channeled. I am not a channel. I am a carcass. I am the projection of something in you that you think is pretty good. But I am only a carcass. In the Bhagavad Gita, the Hindu gospel, it says, born out bodies are, dwell, are downed by the dweller within the body and then just discard after this lifetime. Inside of me, the Christ mind in meditation took over. Inside of you, if there is a true calling, the Christ mind takes hold of you. What is the Christ mind? The Christ mind is that part of consciousness of spirit. Whether you call it in its final culmination, nirvana, samadhi, satori, whatever you choose to call it. That's why when Dwayne sang, one God, many are the paths that lead to one God. Yeah. Each of you has your chosen path. And I know having spoken to some of you, the paths are varied. And as Aaron Thunderheart 
mention, I acknowledge all of your pathways because every soul is on a different level. And each of you will find people who will listen to you at the level that they are on and you are on. You will connect. But always remember, it is the God in you that is connecting with the God in them. As Jesus said, why call me good? It is not I, Jesus, that doeth these good works. It is the Father within me. I quote directly from the New Testament. It is the Father within me. It is the Father within you. Thank you all and God bless you.